we continue to grow, and uh, we got 100 more people attending now than we did a year ago, which is exciting. But it's not very equal in the two services, especially with the kids. And so uh, uh, starting next Sunday, what we're going to do is we're just going to be doing children's uh, uh, ministry in this 1030 service. Here's why. Because on average, over the last uh, uh, few months, at the 9 o'clock service, you'll have on average zero kids in the preschool, and you'll have about three kids in the uh, elementary age group. Uh, whereas here at the 1030 service, you'll have 30 kids back there at the, at the elementary level, and you'll have 10 people in the preschool. Well, when you have 40, it's kind of exciting. Teachers love it. Kids enjoy it. When you come, maybe as a guest or in a family, and you come to the 9 o'clock hour, it's like your kid and maybe one other kid. And, and we have great volunteers who are here for preschool, and they have for months, but nobody shows up. So because of that, we said that for a while, for, for right now, we're just going to do it at 1030. See how that goes. When uh, that 9 o'clock service continues to grow or we're out of space at 1030 with the children's space, we'll add that back on. So if you do... I say, listen, I want to sign up for that 9 o'clock uh, engaging with the Bible class and I get young children or I want to be on a worship team and uh, I want to participate in that and that's a commitment for both services. What do I do with my kids? Children's ministry director said, we've thought of that. There's no problem at all. They will take care of it. Like it won't be a full curriculum Sunday school class, but they'll make sure because we've got great volunteers. We'll make sure at that 9 o'clock hour that we'll hang out with your kids.